does it actually matter where you got something, what it is, what the quality is, if it looks good and you like wearing it? That is what we're going to talk about in today's video, uh, specifically with this Brandy Melville hoodie that I picked up from the bins. We'll get into that in a second. But if you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know I have always been obsessed with finding the absolute best version of something and I will pay any price and just grind for what I want. And that was fun for a while. I got a rush out of it. I got a lot of enjoyment out of it for a while. I still very much am that way with a lot of things, but with clothes in particular lately, I've kind of flipped back to, I will wear what I can find at the bins or I will wear what I can get for a good deal that like fits my style uh, and not be so worried about having the absolute best version of everything I own. Because what I've come to realize, and I probably are always knew, but I was like in denial, it's just not worth it to own all this stuff, especially if you're gonna wear it on a regular basis, how I wear my stuff. I'll give you an example. I've always been obsessed with Biggie 501s. That's like a lot of my videos that have gone viral or done a lot of views have been about Biggie 501s, vintage Levi's, right? Here's the thing. They rip like crazy. Like I can't wear them without having to worry about ripping them and then losing a couple hundred dollars worth of value. Like that alone is so annoying. And even if they're already ripped, I have to get them repaired. And if I have to get them repaired, I'm gonna have to get them repaired again. And it's just this endless cycle of me buying a pair of jeans, bringing them to the homie to do the repairs for them, me wearing them for a week, and then I bust through them because my ass is too fat. True story. Um, yeah, I took an L on those jeans because my ass was too fat. Uh, I don't know if I ever showed them on the channel, but it was a pair of 50s rivets I bought about six months ago. But anyway, besides the point, getting into the Brandy Melville hoodie, I have grown to just appreciate stuff that I can just wear and not have to worry about it. And that still looks good and is pretty good quality. Um, especially if I'm getting it like at the bins like this, I got at the bins for two bucks. So without further ado, we're going to talk about this week's pickup, which is this Brandy Melville zip up hoodie. As you can see, it's in this beautiful, like dirt wash. Um, it reminds me of Sedona as somebody who grew up in Arizona. If you don't know, uh, Sedona is like one of the touristy places people go, there's a ton of red rocks and stuff, but they specifically have like all these stores where they sell the tourist, these dirt dyed t-shirts, sweatshirts, whatever. And they just dye them with like the red dirt that's out there. This is pretty much that exact same color. That's what it always reminds me of when I see these. And I've always loved this color. I have a pair of pants that are this color that my girlfriend stole from me. So yeah, anyway. I think it looks really good uh, with a lot of what I wear. So great color on the hoodie. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it is just a regular zip up hoodie. And I've actually owned this hoodie, like the exact same one. I've owned it three times. The first time I found it at the bins, there was a big stain right here. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna sell that. Sold it for like 20 bucks on my story. Uh, and then the second time that I found it, it was shrunk to where it wouldn't fit me. So uh, I sold it again. And then this one I found like two weeks ago and it fits, so I decided to just keep it. But if you guys don't know about this hoodie, um, obviously it is by Brandy Melville. Uh, they're like $40 on the website. As somebody who is into sustainable fashion and sustainable shopping, I would say to buy one of these on Depop or just go to the Goodwill until you find one because I don't know, I don't like supporting fast fashion like that. But if you get it at the bins, you get it on Depop, who cares? Uh, this one, it's like super heavyweight. I weighed this out and it was like, I think it was like two, like two pounds. So it's a super heavyweight hoodie. It's got a perfect boxy fit because it's meant to fit oversized on a small woman. So for a large man, it fits perfectly. Uh, and then the, my favorite thing about this actually is the zipper because it's just, it's a very satisfying zipper. I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear it. 
Like, I don't know, it's just, it's so smooth. But yeah, and I've been throwing this on. People really like this because uh, I posted, I wouldn't even say I posted a fit pic. I just took a picture in the changing room and people thought I was doing something. I would be completely honest, that's what I wear every single day. Um, but I wore this underneath my deep aisle and it looked pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna throw it on, do a little try on for you guys. And uh, yeah, I guess that'll be the video. All right, before we get into the try on, if you guys are watching this before February 10th, 2023, I still have a 30% off sale going on on my website. I'll automatically apply to checkout, applies to everything. Link down below. Uh, and if you guys want cheap stuff like this, I have my Depop link down below. Everything on my Depop is going to be $40 and under for the most part. There's like a couple things that are 60, but besides that, it's all pretty cheap. Um, I've been shifting my business, so I do more Depop for like stuff I just find. And then I've been setting stuff aside to work on the website. So I think we're gonna relaunch the website soon uh, and just focus on like being super curated again. So thanks for all the support. Both gonna be linked down below. All right, so this is what the Brandy Melville hoodie looks like on. It's a one size fits all piece. I always get it tripped up though, because it's women, so the zipper's on the other side. But as you can see, it's a nice cropped boxy fit that everybody's into. And uh, yeah, these are cheap as hell, so pick one up. I'm just gonna do the zipper again. But yeah, that is it for today, guys. Thank you for watching and supporting. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I think what I'm gonna try to do is post one of these shorter videos, which is one piece, like every week, every two weeks. Uh, so if you aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be going over stuff that I like. Um, but yeah, thanks for the support, guys.